Oh man, Walking Dead got delayed, Resident 4 is getting delayed because of Walking Dead is getting delayed. I need to get one of these going right now. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to play some Resident 4 because I have a situation. Leon, I've been able to get some new info that might help you. Fill me in. Apparently, there's a religious cult group involved. They're called the Los Illuminados. Los Illuminados? <laughs> That's a mouthful. Anyway, I had an unexpected run-in with the big cheese of this village. But you're okay, right? Yeah. But he could have killed me, but he let me live. And he mentioned something about me carrying the same blood as them. Whatever that means. Carry the same blood? Huh. Interesting. Anyway, there are more important things than solving riddles right now. You're right. Hurry and find that church, Leon. All right, we gotta go to church, not to pray, but to find that president's daughter that we're looking for. Also, we got green herbs. Also, we can go back in the room that we were just in. Cutscene. Oh man, my cat just made a funny face. Or uh, woman in red, yeah. She stopped talking about real life stuff. And woman in red, somehow familiar. Um, Resident Evil 2. It'll become relevant more later on. Right now, not so important. It just saved our life though. So yeah, hey, there you go. Oh man, painting of that church. I hope Ashley's okay. And what we got here? It looks like you can open it. It is a trap. Trust me on that. I know what I'm talking about, viewers. You can't fool me, guy in the restroom. Because this guy. Oh, he tricked me! Son of a. Oh. Well, his head exploded. That was pretty cool. Yeah, toilet. Urinal, to be exact. I don't know if a urinal is really a toilet, but okay. Doesn't matter. We don't need to go. It's not important. They're civilized. This is what this place is, to show that these people are civilized. They they are like normal humans, but better and, and more uh, unsanitary. Also, incendiary, flame grenade, because I can't say incendiary, incendiary, whatever. I can't say things right now. I'm flustered, foreshadowing. Oh, man. I was reading one of my comments. I say this as I get a brown chicken egg. I was reading one of my comments, and there's this guy that wants me to give him a shout-out. And I would give him a shout-out, but I feel like being a dick, so I'm just gonna, just gonna say everything but his name. That, that is my version of getting a shout-out, unless you deserve it. Like Future Ruler 123. For all the crap that I put him through, uh, he deserves a shout-out. He deserves nine shout-outs. They'll come in short and small. Yeah. Sorry, viewers. Sorry, people, if you talk to me. I have a love-hate relationship thing going, I find, with people that I talk to on the internet. Love-hate, like, these guys that I just killed. I love them for the money that they give me. I hate them for them trying to kill me. Especially this guy, Dr. Salvatore. I Dr. Salvatore. I don't know. We'll find out soon enough. Hopefully... Either way, I'm gonna kill him. I'm going hunting. I'm hunting these. I don't even know. They're they're kind of Spaniards, but they're not really Spaniards. Well, you'll see what I mean. Or it's all foreshadowing. They're not really people viewers. I mean, they were people. They're not really zombies. This guy's just trying to kill me. He gives me a ruby. See, love hate right there. I hate him first, then I love him later. Oh man, I was watching Ender's Game and it's talking about love-hate relationships with your enemies. It, it, I forget the quote already. Ender's Game was alright. It reminded me of Mass Effect 1 for some reason. Specifically Shepard and the Rachni. I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. All I know is sniping. 
and there's this guy this fool right here you see him he's just waiting for us I want to get a headshot in on him I want to get a good headshot because he deserves a good headshot but I don't have a good vantage point stuff is in my way I see I, I was trying to snipe him that thing got in the way now see I can't even hit him I just ruined my vantage right here I could have a stealth bonus I did not have a stealth bonus I had a ruin my chance at doing something right bonus, which isn't really a bonus, it's more like not even cool, it's it's just stupid. Re regardless, there's there's a guy in the house. Oh and she spotted me. Stupid person thing, whatever. I don't even know if I should try to hide all of the spoilers and everything, because I feel like this game is so overplayed that everyone pretty much knows it. Or at least anyone who would come here knows pretty much everything that there is to know about Resident Evil 4. I mean, Chaz might not, but Chaz is pretty cool, so I'll let it slide with him. I don't really have a love-hate relationship with Chaz, there's only disrespect with Chaz. I'm gonna kill these guys. This guy right here, he needs to go away. See, look at him, he's... Uh, there comes the not competence, the unconfidence, the my true skills at playing the game that's not, that's what's shining right now I really should conserve all my rifle bullets and shotgun shells but be honest I want to kill these guys as quick fast as they, need to go. They, they just need to go they just need to go away right here right now we got we got sickle man we got woman with the pitchfork not a really fun combo I like to deal with also, these guys are like the easiest ones, so you know, when we get up to the more advanced things, it's not going to be fun, it's going to be lame. It's going to be really lame. It's going to be like, how did, how did I even make it past the first area? Really? Like, you could have done so much better, but, you know, freaking, you suck, Gildam Warrior. Just stop playing the game. Just quit right now. Look at you. You got like three fish because you can't conserve your health. Or you, you can't, like, you know, risk not getting hit. You just suck at the game, man. You just suck. Look at this guy. He's gonna come up to you and then he's gonna kill you. Or at the very least, hurt you in some form or another. Either way, si uh, Sickle Man. I won't call him Scythe Man, but he doesn't really have a Scythe. He has a Sickle. He just needs to go away. We got a guy who's just running up. Blew his chest cavity open, but of course, the game's not gonna register. So it's fine. It's fine. Just like in real life, you know, taking out a shotgun shot to the, like, point-blank range. I'm sure you'll be fine. I mean, don't quote me on that, but I'm sure it's just like in video games. It's an accurate representation of what happens, you know. You can probably survive three or four shotgun shells. Nothing bad's well, okay, going You're probably going to die in the end if you take more than three or four, but, you know, hey. The game says that you can live through one or two, so I believe it. I'm not gonna prove it, but I believe it. Oh man, I, I just like blew that guy's head off. Amazing. I'm kind of in a good mood. I gotta do some Walking Dead. I'm, I'm working on it, viewers. I'm working on Walking Dead. This is just kind of filler. I'm not, I'm not even sure how I'm gonna do it. I was supposed to do one week each, you know, one week in Resident Evil, one week. In Walking Dead, now that whole schedule's been thrown out the window because I'm having problems. A lot of problems. With the SAM data. I made a video about it. Of course, by the time this gets uploaded, like a year from now when The Walking Dead is complete, and I'm already like two or three less plays, like in the future, I don't know. Probably not even gonna matter that I'm talking about having problems with The Walking Dead. Because of that, and I'll be done. Oh, this guy's another sickle man. Sickle man needs to go away. You know who I haven't seen? Oh, this is Hatchet Man. Where did Hatchet Man go? Oh man, I I, I kind of want to see Hatchet Man. I miss him. He's like my love-hate relationship, be it like best friend foreverist. Oh man. There's a cat outside my window. You can't hear her because she's outside. She wants in. Oh man. Oh, Hatchet Man! I was just talking about you! It's good to see you, buddy! 
Oh man, here, let me give you the bullets of friendship and the kick of love. Oh, now we're just gonna go down and take those shotgun shells. Thank you, Hatchet Man. You're always thinking about what I need when I need it. Until later on when you're just gonna screw me over no matter what.